So lobbyists as an influence on parliamentary lawmaking. OK, so what is a lobbyist? Well, the name lobbyist comes from the lobby, people who go into the lobby in the House of Commons. Um, so the idea is that some people are going to try and persuade um, their individual or an individual MP to support their cause. So you can be a lobbyist. Any individual person can lobby their MP. Pressure groups can also lobby MPs. Most lobbying is done by professional lobbyists on behalf of trade unions, businesses and charities. So what happens is the lobbyist, whether it's me, you or a pressure group, trade union, um, they will try and persuade the MP to ask a question in the House of Commons. This then draws attention to the issue of concern. Um, so you could email, write, book an appointment at your MP's surgery and say that, um, I don't know, you, you think the laws protecting um, people who rent houses are really unfair because you can be thrown out after two months or something um, and you could go to your MP and say I'm really worried about this it's personally affected me please could you draw attention to this in Parliament so in theory your MP if they agree can stand up in Parliament and raise that issue and it could lead to them promoting a bill they could put through a private members bill if it is an area of concern in in your constituency um, so yes lobbyists can be done by you or I but equally can be done by professionals and what you're trying to do is get your MP to promote a bill or raise an issue of concern now there are advantages to this so firstly it brings the issue to Parliament's attention if your MP stands up in the House of Commons Great, that is then out there. It's recorded, it is written down. The issue, there is more awareness of the issue. The MP themselves may have been unaware of the issue. It's also good because it allows you to have access to your MP. Your MP represents you, um, so you can have access to the lawmaking process for free. It's very easy to lobby your MP. You know, you can email these days or you can book an appointment to go and see them. So it encourages people to be politically active. You're participating in democracy, which you know, we live in a democratic society and how great that you can take part. The law is accessible to all. That is following the rule of law, another good thing. The other advantage really to, to think about is that professional lobbyists are specialists, um, so they may be more effective in getting their point across. So in other words, they are quite powerful and it can lead to Parliament changing laws. Disadvantages though, these professional lobbyists or big businesses that use professional lobbyists may have more influence than an individual member of the public. So you've got an inequality here between um, professional lobbyists and individuals. So it's really kind of based on the needs of the minority and not the majority because the lobbyist, um, if it's an individual person and they are concerned about an issue, you have to consider, well, how many other people are concerned about this, this issue? It can be abused. So there have been examples of MPs being given cash for questions. So they have been paid cash by businesses. You know, have a look at the case, research Owen Patterson, see what's been going on with, with him. But the idea is that M some MPs have acted illegally, really, and they and unprofessionally by being given money by lobbyists or businesses to ask questions in Parliament. So the system of lobbying can be abused. It also, as another disadvantage, relies upon individuals knowing what lobbying is, knowing that they can contact their MP and actually getting on and doing it. Um, you could argue it bypasses democracy because you're, you're not sticking to what the political party said in their manifesto. Um, and particularly if you are a professional lobbyist and you wield more power, is it bypassing democracy? So lobbyists, quite a lot that you can actually say about them, but do, do some research on the MPs, expenses, scandals, see what you can find out.